So for part two of this video course, we're going to be looking at the basics of connecting your micro bit um, to the computer, how to send code over to it and to make it do things, and how to put that onto battery power. So the real basics really. So um, with the micro bit itself, uh, it's going to be coded using a tool called uh, MakeCode. So we head to makecode.microbit.org and this is going to be the main site where uh, we do all of our programming. Now, um, to do this, we click New Project to start actually building this, and we give it a name. So I'm just going to call this, just call it Project 1. Okay, now the actual interface itself, as it comes up, it's split down into three sections. So there is a preview section here, which is going to show us um, your actual program running, hopefully, for, for most of them on a simulator just here. Um, also show us any problems that we might have. Down the middle here, we've got all of our um, blocks that we can use. So these are our code or our instructions. And then here we have a space for our code. Um, so what we begin with when we start on this is that we've got one that says on start. Now that is going to do something when the micro bit first powers on. And here we have one which says forever, which is going to be something that keeps going. So that one is a loop. It's going to keep going round and round and round, whatever we put in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to use the on start. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to put a basic image here. And... Okay, so when we start this, and you'll see this on the simulator in a minute. Okay, so when the program starts, show a heart on the screen. Um, I'm going to do a couple more bits than this as well. I'm going to say when we press the A button, it's going to say, Hi, input now I want the other button, but it's the same one. So I, you see it's grayed it out now because it's confused because I've said button A is press, button A is press. So I'm trying to give the same command for the same thing so it won't know what to do. So that should be button B. So when button B is pressed, so that's going to be this one, then what I'm going to have it do here is to change to, let's have a smiley face just here. And then finally here, I'm going to say when we shake it, basic, just here, clear screen. Okay, so the way my program works, we can play with it on the simulator here now. Oops, I shook it. <laughs> so let's just restart it. So they've got a heart there when we first power it on. Now if I press button A, it's going to say hi. Press button B, it's going to show a smiley face. Now I can shake it by moving my mouse quickly on here or press the shake here. Okay, and that's going to clear the screen. So that program works very simply. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the micro bit now and copy this code over onto it. So what you will need for this is a USB cable. So we connect that into the top. There's only one place that it'll, one way around that it'll go. Um, so don't force it if it seems to be upside down. Um, and then we connect the USB cable to the computer. If your computer doesn't have a USB port this shape and it only has the type C USB, then you might need one of these adapters just to connect it to before you plug it into your computer. Okay, so we plug it in. Now, what you might see, you'll see a light on the back which tells you that it's actually um, switched on, but you might see somebody else's program running on here from last time. So we're going to overwrite anything that's already on this micro bit with our own program, but there might be someone uh, previous program here. So uh, what we need to do first then, once we've got it connected and it's lit up, I'm going to click on this little gear at the top and we're going to choose pair device. Okay. We click, just remind you here that you should have had the USB cable connected. We've already done that. Pair device, and you should then see the micro bit. Click on it, and then click connect. Okay, so that is now connected to here. Um, we can see here we've got the USB symbol here. So now when we press download, so I'll click download on here. What we'll see on the back of the micro bit is the little light flashes because it's copying it over. And then when it's finished in a moment, 
Okay, so our program is now running and we can see that we've got a heart which has come up at the start. Um, I shook it so it's gone off. So there's a little reset button on the back of the micro bit. So if we wanna just reset our program back to the start, we press that. Okay, so we've got our heart. If we press button A, it's gonna say hi. If we press button B, it's gonna show a smiley face. If we shake it, then it's going to clear. So obviously if I make any changes on the computer to the program, I will need to press download again and download it onto here. Now, when we're happy with our program on here, we don't have to use it on the, leave it on the USB cable. So if, obviously if we disconnect that, it's not gonna do anything now because it's got no power. So this is where we can then put it onto a battery pack. So by connecting the battery pack up here, making sure it's switched on, we can now see that my program runs on here, independent of the computer now, so I can just have it on here. And then I could build that into whatever it is that I'm trying to create with a battery pack with a little on and off switch then um, when I want to use it. So those are the basics really for copying your code over to the micro bit once you've created it in make code. Um, just remember to pair it um, and make sure that you've got it connected via the USB cable before you try and copy your code over.